So when do you turn and when shouldn't you turn and step away to play a backhand or forehand? If you subscribe, you're a legend. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in Salzheim with Noah and we're going to speak about when do you turn and when shouldn't you turn. And we're going to start right now. Vamos. Vamos. The decision has to do with four factors. All those factors we're going to cover in this video. We are also going to give you nine technical tips that are going to improve your defense straight away. If you never use the wall, you will never win the net position. So if you're not using the wall, you're going to lose the point anyway at some point. So please, 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 everybody, I'm going to tell you today that it is very, very easy to use the wall because if the ball is going to bounce on the second wall, that the wall that we're going to discuss today, the ball actually slows down. So if you remain calm, it is actually going to be easier. Start to be patient, start to be calm, and win the net, win the match, and win the tournament. The first aspect is the height of the ball. How high can you hit the ball? If somebody smashes to the side wall, then it would be a very good option to turn. Because if you play on the left, you will have a very high forehand. If you play on the right, maybe you shouldn't turn because you have a high backhand. So on the right, it would be better to step away and hit the forehand. And on the left, it would be better to turn. So in this situation, it's way easier to use the turn. The question of this video, are you a turner or do you prefer to step away? Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a battle. Factor two, the speed of the ball. If the ball is very, very fast, I would highly recommend to turn because you don't have time to step away. So if the incoming ball is super rapido, turn. So from this situation, I highly, highly recommend to play a backhand. Now I'm going to be more there and play the ball from an angle. fast and it comes from an angle turn if you can subscribe will mean a lot we're trying to get 20,000 subscribers in the end of the year so if you see it's not on 20,000 subscribe will mean a lot thank you factor number three if you choose to turn you are closer to your favorite position if you step away you have to recover so if you are somebody that is lazy this is perfect for you but don't be lazy. So factor number four, it takes less time. So if the ball is super fast, you can just turn and get the ball. If the ball is super fast and you step away, you don't have any time. So for the lazy people, turning is the best option. The pros of stepping away. You are better oriented. So I'm here, boom, playing the ball. If I turn, it just takes a while to adjust. I personally find it very, very difficult that if I turn and I lop and I, boom, and I play the ball out of the court because I don't know where I am. If, I, if I'm here and I step away, boom, factor number two, I can play a perfect lop way easier. nine technical tips that are going to improve your defense straight away tip number one early preparation this is the most important thing ever in the world of paddle early preparation and prepare your racket before the ball bounces on your side of the court this is the number one thing you should always do So if I am on the street and I see you and I say, what is the most important thing of paddle? You say early preparation. Technical tip number two, a frozen preparation. So the record is always frozen in a preparation in every single shot in paddle because that will make you have way more control. If your record is spaghetti, 
it's not so good. So try to walk with the racket. So for instance, uh, Sasha's gonna walk with me for the back end. I'm going to play the back end there. I'm preparing my racket. And then I'm going, hey, 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 pow. That's way easier to do than, hey, 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 fwam. I just have zero control if I do it that way. So always prepare, run with the racket. The ball is coming, pang, pang. Number three. Preparation in the same height as the ball. So if I'm going to hit the camera and the, the camera is there, I have my racket here. If the camera is going to be lower, 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 I'm going to adjust with my preparation. So if the ball is high, I would be high waiting, frozen racket, early preparation. If the ball was low, I would be positioned very low to adjust and play the perfect lob. Easy. Technical tip number four, open the racket. If you're going to use the wall, it is way easier to open the racket because the wall is here. It brings the ball from there to there and the ball is able to bounce on the racket. If you close the racket, the ball has to come from here and you're going to hit with this part of the racket. That's nearly impossible. So always open the face of the racket, let the ball come, play flat. Technical tip number five, only accelerate when the ball is high. For the advanced, super advanced players, you can accelerate when the ball is low. But for most players, accelerate when the ball is higher. Don't accelerate when the ball is lower. You don't have to accelerate, but I just want to say, don't accelerate on every single ball out there. Technical tip number six, your first step backwards if you're using the wall. This is so important because you want to get behind the, the ball. If you're not behind the ball, you will have a contact point that is behind me. And this is not so nice to play. So many people say, my back end of the wall is, is not so good. No, your footwork is not so good. Because if you hit the back end here, you're going to use two hands to adjust. But if you're patient, if you wait, if you're super tranquilo, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait until the ball's in front, it is super easy. Technical tip number eight, play flat or slice. Play flat when the ball is lower than the net. Play slice when the ball is higher than the net and cut the ball and then you can cut your opponent as well because you slice. If you play with Thompson off the back wall it's way more complicated and I will highly recommend it for just super advanced jugadores de padel. Technical tip number nine, remain on the same height. So when you're playing, don't go up because then you bring the ball up. Stay the same height because then the ball will remain low, your net player will have a low contact point and you will win every single point. <laughs> like the video if this video was any help. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, I recommended the video of defending the corner that you should watch in order to improve your game. So thank you, drop a like, drop a subscription, and I'll see you next time. Hasta luego, ciao, adios. adios.